One of the scariest things about the Wuhan coronavirus. Keep an eye on the coronavirus. A global health crisis. Pandemic or virus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Has always been how little we know about it. My name is Shelly Mann. I am the Senior Operations Manager and Human Resources Director for Encore Gas and Supply in Signal Hill, California. Well, when the gases come back now, they go for, through a cleaning process. So all of our drivers are wearing gloves and have and follow the COVID-19 end processes, um, which dictates what kind of chemicals we can use on the cylinders and in the trucks. Um, since some of our cylinders are high purity, they, they, it has to be very specific. Uh, so when our drivers pick up cylinders from anywhere, it doesn't matter where, not necessarily a hospital, it could be anywhere. Um, they have to wear two layers of gloves. The cylinders go back on a pallet, and then from that point on, they are only touched by, by uh, forklifts. So they're taken off the forklift and then staged into a specific area where it's clean following the COVID-19 and really processes. Done this a million times. Um, and then from there, once they're clean, they're wiped down and then they go in for filling and then they're redistributed to go back on the trucks, which again, they're only touched by forklift at that point. Oh, before it was easy. You just touch cylinders without having to wear gloves and you could unload one cylinder at a time. So uh, for example, if a cylinder is full and we pick it up from a customer site, now it has to go through the cleaning process before it would stay on the truck. You wouldn't touch it. But now it has to go through the cleaning process and go all the way through everything to get back onto the truck. So you're touching it multiple times when normally you wouldn't have to. Those, <laughs> the Lysol wipes, hand sanitizer, uh, we've got cleaning solutions all over the place. Uh, it, they're used to wipe down door handles, any place that a customer comes in or an employee touches, uh, countertops, door handles, bathroom light switches, anything, even your desk, because I have people that'll come in and sit down and they'll just touch my desk. So after they leave, I'll wipe it down <laughs> just to protect myself and other people. The six foot rule for us to follow the CDC guidelines has changed. We have actually moved our will call area over one door. So we had a door that walked right into a waiting area that was right next to a computer and a will call window. We've now moved that six feet out. So it's actually on a full on other roll up door in an area that's like quarantined almost for people to wait in. And then within that, we don't have a very high traffic roll call. So we'll, if at the most, we'll have two people in there at a time and they stand on opposite ends, um, dictated by an X on the floor. No, not at this point, we'd have to lay anybody off. We have reduced um, overtime drastically because normally our hourly people would be having a lot of overtime and we just cut that off altogether. So overtime is reduced a lot. Gotta take measures to stay in business, right? Yeah. 